Hello, welcome to the first instalment of the Stay at Home Cushion Crochet Along. Um, I haven't finished the entire cushion cover because I'm making it up as I go along, um, but I've got enough done for you to get started. So at the bottom, we'll start off with some chain and then we have some half trebles and double crochet. And then I'll show you how to do the V-stitch um, and that's probably enough for our first try at it today, uh, certainly for me, using technical equipment. So I've used um, double knit wool and a four millimeter crochet hook, which I'm hoping will make a cushion, uh, cushion cover to fit about a 16 inch insert. Um, so we'll start off with a slip knot. Now you're going to chain 60 for your cushion I'll just do a few to show you the rows so you get the idea of how the different stitches work together. Goodness, look at that. This is the perfect time to be filming your hands, isn't it? When you've washed them 11 billion times a day for the last month. So you chain 60. And you can pause it and come back to it or just watch it. Um, and get the feel for how it works. I'm going to type up the instructions um, and I'll post those onto the French Knots Craft Collective page um, and onto Instagram as well. Um, now we might need to fudge the end of some of the rows because the different patterns that we're going to learn have a different number of stitch repeats. Um, but I think mostly it's going to be fine. We've got some linen stitch, some trebles. Um, I'm just about to add the um, puff stitch section onto here and then we'll have some waves. So there's lots, lots of good stuff to learn. OK, so chain 60 in your first colour and then make a double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So insert your hook into the second chain from the hook, yarn over, bring it through. You've got two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull it through both. There's a double crochet. So make one of those into each chain along your foundation chain. Nearly there. <clears throat> So I'm holding my hands around the side of my phone so that I can see what I'm doing and also see what it's recording at the same time, which seems to be working okay. I won't be doing any fancy editing, I'm afraid, to make it look better, uh, as I don't know how to do that, but I think you'll get the gist of it from this. Okay, so that's our first row. And then we're going to turn and work back again. And for your second row, you're going to chain two and make a half treble into the top of each stitch. So a half treble, yarn over and insert it underneath both parts of the stitch. Can you see? At the head of the stitch there, under both of those. Then yarn over, bring it through and pull it through all three loops on your hook. Now, if you only go on under one part, um, of those legs, if you like, at the head of the stitch. If you just go under one part of it, it will pull and you'll end up with it sort of looking baggy um, and a bit uneven. So if you go under both, it makes a nice firm stitch uh, and gives a better finish overall. So you'll be working half trebles. Oops, hang on, I've got my wool caught around the camera. You'll be working half trebles into each of your 60 stitches. Um, I've not done that many, so, whoops, half treble, nearly did a treble there. I've not done that many just so I can show you how the pattern is going to grow. There we go. And one more to take us to the end. So one on the top of the turning chain, yarn over, pull it through, or, oops, all three. Okay, um, so now we need to change colour. Oops, pull that one through. And pull that through the loop on the hook. Pull that tight to knot it. Okay, so that's the first 
couple of rows done. So I'm going to get a second colour on the end and I'm going to do a slip knot to join in my next colour. So I'm going to join in the top of this first stitch there, pop my slip knot on, just tighten that up slightly so it's the right tension and bring it through. Uh, and I'm going to chain one, that'll just secure it, then I'm going to do another row of double crochets. So under, yarn over, pull it through both loops. So do that one, yarn over, bring it through, yarn over, pull it through both loops. Okay, so you'll work a double crochet into each of your stitches all the way along your cushion. There we go. It's quite fiddly, a small sample like this. And one into there. Okay, and then I'm going to fasten that off. In fact, what I could have done is left my pink attached, couldn't I? Because what I'm going to do now is return to the pink and it will give us, can you see here, how, oops, sorry, we had the green section uh, and then I changed colour for a row and went back to green and it gives you that nice little highlight at the bottom. So, let's rejoin the, the pink. So we'll join that on and then we'll work the second row again, which was a row of half trebles. So attach it there, chain two and make a half treble into each stitch. Now what you can do as you're working along is crochet over some of your ends. Half treble yarn over under the stitch, yarn over and pull it through all three loops. Yes, yeah, so you could crochet over some of your ends so that you've got fewer to darn in at the end. I know it's not everyone's favourite job dealing, dealing with a load of fiddly ends. There we go. Into there. That's a half treble. So there's a few stitches that we've got to grips with already. We've done some um, half trebles and some double crochets. And now we'll have a go at the V stitch. And then I'll leave you for a few days to practice and catch up. Okay. Now, if anyone's been using the beginners crochet videos if you've got any questions on getting started do drop me a line or message me and we can go over anything you're having trouble with I can do a little Q&A and do a video if we need oh can you hear the, t the, the patter of tiny feet here's the studio dog come to see what's what's going on okay so row five is a V stitch so we'll join on our new colour I've chosen sort of springy colours that were in my stash, my teeny weeny, hardly anything to choose from stash. So we're going to chain three and then we're going to skip one stitch. Now, if you turn it on its edge like this, you can see a bit better. So there's our chain that we've joined to. I'm going to skip that one and then we're going to make two trebles into the next stitch. So we're skipping this stitch see that? Skipping this stitch and making two trebles into that stitch. So yarn over, there's the one we're skipping, into there with two trebles. Okay, so a treble, just to remind you, yarn over into the stitch, yarn over and out again. There's our three loops, so yarn over through the first two, yarn over through the second two. So there's our first two trebles and then we're going to repeat that all the way along. So we're going to, sorry, we're going to skip that one and make two trebles in that one, okay? So two more trebles. 
minum and then we're going to skip another stitch and make two trebles in that one like so so you'll carry on doing that all the way along your cushion cover and then when you come to the end you make one treble in the last stitch and then we'll change colour so enlarge your loop pull your end through there we go and then we want another colour should we have the let's have a bit of yellow So again, we'll start with a slip knot and then we'll join on and move across. So attach your, so put your hook through, oops, put the slip knot on the back, tighten it up, bring it to the front. Sorry, I'm looking at what I'm doing on the screen and wandering off with my hands. Uh, so. Chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going to make two trebles between each pair of trebles. Shall I show you on here? So look, there was the first row, the pink row. So in between these two pink trebles, I've put two trebles. So in between these two pinks, there's two more trebles. Okay, so let's do that row. Two trebles between each pair from the previous row. So in between the lilac we're putting one, two trebles and then we'll move on to the next one and put two more trebles in there. Okay can you see and that's what makes the V shape because the two yellow trebles are slightly pushing apart the two lilac ones so that's what gives it the the V shape there we go another one in there carry on to the end and then one in the last one like that and then you can go ahead and add so change colour again and add another row to your v-stitch so you'll, you'll end up with three rows of v-stitch okay so shall i just recap what we've got we've got our first row was our foundation chain and then we made a double crochet into each stitch along then we did another green row of half trebles my pink row where i changed colour and did a row of double crochet and then change back to green and did a row of half trebles and then I've got one two three rows of v-stitch so I'll get that typed up and I'll put it online then you can all have a look and um, remember if you're stuck with anything um, get in touch happy to help do a little video if that makes it easier to understand and um, I'll be adding a bit more onto this one so next time you see it um, there'll be some new stitches. I've got the messages through about the individual stitches that people are interested in learning um, but if there's any that you've thought about or that you'd like to learn um, get in touch and let me know and we'll do some videos for those as well. Okay see you soon, bye!